Ever since I was a little girl, I've always felt like the odd man out. And I didn't really understand it then. And sometimes I still struggle with it. Feeling misunderstood, feeling like you're different from everybody, feeling like you're the only one with your mindset, feeling like you know, people will be like talking and laughing and getting along and connecting. And as soon as you walk into a room, the energy changes and you know, people get quiet or it's just not like the same ease of flow that you notice with everybody else. Like, Sometimes it makes you sad, like, what am I doing wrong? You know, what's wrong with me that I'm not connecting to people like you know, I desire? Like, I remember being younger, my younger 20s, and, you know, not having a lot of friends, but having more than what I do now. And not that I need friends. I'm not saying that I need friends. It's just... The more I've awakened and the more I've like started to like realize like who I am or that we're living in a matrix and like some things about reality, like the more I feel like disconnected to people. The more I feel like it's safest just being alone, like I feel my happiest when I'm alone, you know? And it's, it's like weird oxymoron because it's like I don't necessarily like want to push people out because I like, you know, I like people. <laughs> but I feel sad sometimes when there's a lot of people around, like, you know, because I feel so misunderstood. You know, I feel like I could be saying something that makes sense that's not even, that doesn't have anything to do with like spirituality or awakening or anything like that. And people just like <laughs> the way they respond to me, they look at me like I just said like a foreign thing, you know. And a lot of times it's mostly like, sometimes it could be like even with the people that's closest to you, you know. Like, and you know, I understand logically, like why it is, you know, and it's not like that you're better than anybody else because I would say that's ego, you know, if that came up, but you know, you definitely are vibrating at a higher frequency. You definitely stick out like a sore thumb because you're like a glitch in the matrix, you know what I mean? Came here to be different. It's just hard sometimes, like when all you really want to do is be your authentic self, but you don't feel like it's accepted. And it, it can be easy to say, you know, well, forget what people say. Don't worry about what people say. But sometimes that's hard, you know, still. It's like, especially if like, there are some situations where, you know, you might have to socialize. You know what I mean? So, you know, there can be what some can call like, you know, an anointing over your life. You didn't ask for it. <laughs> you didn't ask for it. You didn't ask to be different. Well, in a way you did, but <laughs> consciously speaking, you know, you didn't ask for the hate. You didn't ask for the bullying, and I don't feel necessarily so much bullied anymore because like I'm aware of like my space and like just being more like confident in myself. But growing up, it's like, I always felt like I had like a target on my back, you know what I mean? And I was like the most sweetest person, you know? And sometimes that can get you in trouble, just being too sweet, but even still, like, 
you know, people are sweet to kids. You know what I mean? Usually, right? But it's just been like hard since birth, you know? And it just makes you really realize like you didn't come here like to just fit in with people. Like you came here on a mission. You know what I mean? And of course you're going to have that opposition so it makes you stronger for the for the mission that you have to fulfill. And I get that, you know, I really do. But sometimes on a day to day basis, like just living normal life, you, you, you forget that, you know. So I'm like, I used to really just try to like be so people pleasing, like, you know, maybe if I make everybody happy, then, you know, they'll accept me or they won't judge me or they won't think I'm weird or whatever. You know what I mean? And I still find myself from time to time, like that feeling two people please will rise up in me because it feels uncomfortable to, you know, be seen. And it's like, it's on an energetic level because I literally, I can feel every single like information, energy. I can feel it from the, to the molecular level. Like, it can be the slightest change in somebody, you know, how they're feeling, how they're feeling towards you, what they're feeling when you talk to them, what their intentions are like. And it's weird, you know, you, some people might say, you know, it's a gift to, to be able to do that. It's basically the empath, you know what I'm saying? But it can be challenging to be able to feel and know what people aren't saying. Even if they like trying to smile at you, you can still feel it. You know, but I wonder sometimes like how it would feel to just be like completely at ease and free and like a free flowing conversation with like people and they don't feel a certain type of way about your energy. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my mom because I felt a little like sad, like, mom, I'm not doing anything. You know, what is it? You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I don't understand that, you know, even when I'm in groups, so I go to talk to people, it's just like everybody just feels like they're acting different. But my mom's just like, well, you know, when you go into a room, you light up the room and you have an anointing over your life. But I'm just like, and even talking about this is hard for me because it's like, I tend to sometimes, like, I want to say, like, wear a mask, even though I feel like I'm being authentic, you know, my authentic self. But at the same time, I feel like I'm not really, like, showing all of my mind because I don't feel like people want to understand it. And I also feel like I'm at the place and my type of person where I let people have their opinions. I don't even try. It's just like, I don't really want to argue my point. It's not necessary to me. You know what I mean? But I still, you know, I feel like I just, it's just like going along with emotions or just going along with whatever conversation that there is. You know what I mean? And I'm not even saying that I have to be talking about anything like super deep or esoteric or scientific or spiritual or whatever. I don't have to, you know what I mean? But at minimum, I don't want to feel, you know, how different I am. But I know that's something that I have to just completely accept within myself, like, because it's who I am and that's not going to change. You know what I mean? It's like, do you want to follow the will of the divine within you or do you want to follow the world? Do you want to be just like the world or do you want to be who and what it is God created you to be? You know? So... Sometimes, like, in my head now, I'm like, well, I'm just going to start practicing silence. Because when I'm silent, it's like, I don't feel the need to say the right thing or join in on this conversation and that conversation. I just feel more at peace, you know? It's like, I'm silent. I don't have to prove anything. I don't have to have something funny or smart to say, you know, that someone probably won't even react to anyways. <laughs> and... And I know it's like you create your own reality and there are certain things that you can change within yourself in terms of confidence. But it's not that I don't feel confident. 
you know what I mean? Obviously, there are areas that I can work on in terms of competency, and sometimes I feel insecure about a little different things. But overall, I feel like I know who I am. I love myself. It's something I've been working on. So this thing for me is just is just that when you are like awakening a part of that 144 well, Christ consciousness in itself, it's like you're different. And that's just what it is. You're different, you know. And the only thing is like the place where I have to get to is in terms of the confidence level, just really having like a thicker skin and not caring and being okay with standing out and being okay with being like the odd man out. (laughs) But it does suck sometimes. You know what I mean? It really does suck sometimes. But, you know, it's the path that was chosen for me and it's the path that I chose. So I just really got to work on being completely myself without feeling the need to like fit in or be a certain type of way just to make people comfortable around me, you know? And for those of you like, for those of you who understand what I'm saying, it's like, you know, you know what I'm talking about because you've been through it. Like you felt that your whole entire life feeling different, feeling ostracized, feeling hated for no reason, feeling like people are jealous, feeling, you know, feeling like you did something wrong. We never did when all you try to do is just like be kind to people, you know, and people might not even understand like this video, it might be like a touchy subject, you know, I know the word like (laughs) chosen one. You know, and, and again, that's not a word to say that it's better than anyone. It's just that you were chosen for a task and that task is to raise the frequencies. But, you know, while people may be looking at you like you're this or that, sometimes you don't always feel like it. Like sometimes you don't always feel like how they view you. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because I feel like I want to be more vulnerable and this is a space where I can share because most times when you go to talk to people, it's not like they're going to understand. So if you're seeing this video, then I know you understand. Or if you resonate to this video, then I know you understand. And I understand you. And, you know, really the strength is going to come from within. It's going to come from the prayer. It's going to come from just really accepting that that's who you are. Like, that's who I am. I understand that. I don't need people to understand me. It's okay. And if they are curious and they do give you the space to speak, then that's the opportunity to just fully take off the mask and be yourself and not be afraid of how someone's going to judge or view you based on speaking your truth, because that's what you were meant to do. You know, you can't expect people to be how you want them to be. You know what I mean? Because people are going to be themselves and that's something you have to allow space for. You have to allow people to be who they are while also allowing you to be who you are. And just standing firm on that and know that even if nobody in a room understands you, the all, the creator of every single living being created you and understands you. And, you know, and that gives, that gives reassurance, you know, if you, you know, if you need your solitude to come back to your center of thoughts, then do that. If you find a group of people who resonate and are on the same uh, wavelength and have the same mindset as you, then hang with them, you know, share your inner thoughts and feelings with them. And then also, you know, just be open to like, for example, this space I can share, you know, being yourself and and carrying out the mission or the purpose. However, you know, in what other ways that spirit leads you to do so, you know, and it is what it is. And just know, like, there's nothing wrong with you. Like Amira, I have to look in the mirror and say, there is absolutely nothing wrong with you. Nothing at all. 
and I'm just going to be me regardless. And at the end of the day, regardless of whoever is around me, the me that I am is, is beautiful. It's amazing. You know what I mean? And be solid in that. And people don't have to understand. People don't have to understand me. People don't have to understand you. But you better believe though, like carrying out the mission and just being true to yourself and being true to God, like that comes with such like honor and reverence and gratitude. Like spirit is grateful for the job that we take on in this system. Very, very grateful. And even though it's tough, you know what I mean? Like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a great reward for being you, for staying true to yourself, for being in your heart, for for being compassionate and being kind. While other people can be mean or nasty or, you know, in their ego or judgmental or whatever they are. But you stay true. And I think that's one of the things why spirit picks certain souls to do certain tasks because of the heart and the type of person that you are in your heart. Regardless of whatever hate is thrown at you, you always choose love over fear. So just be encouraged, you know, stick with God, stick with the most high and pray, you know, spirit will lead you Spirit will come to your aid, to your rescue. Spirit will make the crooked path straight, will smooth out a rough road for you. And where you may have had a trouble time, Spirit will make it easy. You know, all you have to do is ask. Easier, I should say. <laughs> Just ask, you know. And feel comforted, you know. And we shall all meet up someday. I know like a lot of soul tribes are finding each other, you know. And I do, you know, I'm very thankful. Like I have a few select people around me now that I, I didn't have before that understand, you know, to a degree, you know, because they're like, they're ego themselves. Even if they don't understand every single mind, thought or pattern they understand overall so that's nice but yeah stick with those people leave the rest do you boo love ya